A man here in Denver invited us to his haircut this week, and after we heard his story, we knew we had to be there. He had more than, get this, 12 inches to donate to Wigs for Kids, which helps children with cancer feel confident as they go through their treatments. Amazing as it is on its own, but as Rob Harris shows us, this donation has become even more meaningful than Cole Weinman could have ever imagined. Thanks for taking the time, man. Of course. Appreciate you. This haircut for Cole Weinman is a long time coming. Since I really had truly got it cut. 13 inches. Probably about three and a half years. It's gotten to the point where it's a little unwieldy now, so I think it's it's time to get rid of it. Weinman's been toying with the idea of really growing out his hair for a while, but it was the pandemic that gave him the opportunity to do it for a good cause. I didn't want to you know, try and do the COVID cuts at home, and um, you know, my head is not shaped well for a buzz cut. I was talking to one of my coworkers um, about doing the donation, and she said, you should consider uh, Wigs for Kids. It's the one I've done. It, it goes to children who lose their hair because they have cancer. Uh, so I figured that was about as good a reason to grow this thing out as any. So Weinman's having more than a foot of hair cut off to donate, and it has to happen this week. I just want to get it up away from the incision. Friday, he's heading into surgery. About three years ago, I started uh, having like little bouts of vertigo. Um, kind of felt like a, a buzzing, almost like a, like a cicada sound. It kind of waxed and waned for a while. Symptoms were just kind of there one month and then gone the next. So I found an ENT who was like, yeah, we should probably get an MRI, you know. And right after Thanksgiving, got the results back and it was, you know, sure as, sure as heck there it was. Um, uh, it's called a vestibular schwannoma. It's a tumor that grows in between the base of the skull and the auditory canal. In the course of a day, Weinman went from planning a wedding three centimeters to planning for brain surgery. It's the size of a robin's egg. He also gained a whole new appreciation for his pandemic project of growing out his hair. Kind of put it all in perspective, right? I mean, at the end of the day, I'm lucky because mine's operable. I don't have to do chemo. I don't have to lose what I'm, I'm going to keep of my hair. I'm not going to be in a situation where I'm going to need somebody to do what I'm doing now to you know, get to feel normal in my day to day. You know? Weinman has at least a month of recovery ahead of him. He'll have to relearn a sense of balance after the surgery and his hearing in his right ear will probably always be blunted. But this summer, he's got his wedding to look forward to. And he's also looking forward to knowing that somewhere, Perfect. his pandemic project will be helping another patient's day be a little brighter. Oh, um, I hope that it serves him. Um, and I hope that uh, whatever they're going with, they get through as easy as I'm about to get through what I got going on. So For Denver 7, I think the, the fruits of the labor were worth it. I'm Rob Harris. Wow, what an inspiring man. Absolutely. Yeah, Cole's surgery is set for tomorrow morning. He says he's feeling good about it, and we'll, we'll be following up with him through this recovery process, and we wish him the best of luck on Absolutely. his surgery. Absolutely. It's amazing how quickly life can change, mm -hmm. right? But I think his donation is so incredible, and, you know, he's going to uh, probably do well to, in surgery. So we wish him the best, and good luck on his wedding. Yeah, <laughs> good luck on your wedding, and thanks so much for all you do. There are still so many good people in this world. Yes.